Hi, I'm Darren Purchase. Welcome to my Fed Summer Masterclass. Now, nothing says summer more than ice cream. Nothing says Aussie summer more than my Lamington ice cream sandwiches. Check these out. Absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make them. A quick and easy coconut cake. And that's gonna sandwich the vanilla ice cream. Now I've just preheated my oven to 180 degrees, so that's ready to go. And this is a really simple recipe. So icing sugar into this bowl, along with the coconut, we're going to add the brown sugar into a mixing bowl, and we're gonna add the egg white. We're gonna whisk to a meringue. Done, that's exactly what I'm looking for. The icing sugar and coconut, add it into stages into my bowl and just fold it in as I go, nice and gently. And this coconut cake is absolutely delicious. All of that coconut is gonna to toast off in the oven. And how simple is it as well? And we'll just chuck the rest in. Our batter is done. Really simple. I'm gonna split that batter in two. It's just lined with paper. So we're just gonna spread this cake batter nice and thin, put this into the oven and bake probably for about 10 minutes. Time for the oven. Okay, this smells absolutely incredible. I know these are just about ready to go. Check out the coconut cake, and I can't tell you how great these smell. I'm just gonna leave these to cool in the pan. Now every Lamington ice cream sandwich needs vanilla ice cream. You can use store-bought, there's no shame in that. But if you have time, give mine a go, it's dead easy. We've got free range egg yolks, Caster sugar, now I've got vanilla paste, you could use fresh vanilla bean, thickened cream, and some whole milk. In the jug with the egg yolks, followed by the caster sugar. I'm gonna add the vanilla, good bit of vanilla in there. Now I'm gonna add some milk. And give this a quick whiz. We're gonna add this to a saucepan. I'm just gonna add the cream to the saucepan. And we're now gonna cook this on the stove over a low heat. So I'm gonna to start to heat this and I'm stirring constantly so the eggs don't scramble on the bottom of the pan until it reaches 82 degrees. It smells absolutely amazing. I smell all the vanilla bean. Vanilla ice cream is my favorite flavor of all time closely followed by chocolate. And we just about reached temperature. The eggs are cooked, but they're not scrambled. It's safe and ready to go. Gotta strain it into this bowl, just to make sure there's no eggy bits inside. In this bowl, I'm gonna place over iced water to cool down as quickly as possible. Okay, our custard's nice and cool. And I'm gonna pour it into my ice cream churner and pretty soon, we're gonna have homemade vanilla bean ice cream. Exciting times, ice cream is done. I've actually made two batches because I need lots for this recipe. So first batch is done, as you can hear. The second batch is now done as well. So take a look at that. Nothing beats homemade ice cream. Grab it out. Doesn't matter, it's a little bit soft. We're gonna put this into our tray. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, I love it. Coconut cake. They've been cooling down in the tin. And I'm just gonna put probably about that much on top of each one. All right, that's the hard part done really. I'm gonna put them into the freezer before we demold and start to assemble our ice cream sandwiches. Okay, now it's time to cut and assemble our Lamington ice cream sandwiches. 
few bits on the bench here you need to get ready. I've got two baking trays lined with baking paper and I've also got some more baking paper on my bench here. I've got some delicious raspberry jam which I'm going to transfer into a piping bag. I've also got two knives. So I've got a large knife for cutting the ice cream and a small paring knife for demolding. I've got a scoop here going to help create a cavity to fill our ice cream sandwiches with jam. Okay, we're gonna work one tray at a time so they don't melt. Keep the second one in the freezer and use these two flaps of baking paper to demold. And then what we're gonna do is take the paper off gently. We're gonna cut it in half first and you could use a ruler, but I'm just doing it by eye. So you're gonna get four strips Okay, great, and we're gonna turn it, cut the ice cream down the middle again, then cut down the middle of that. And again here, what we're gonna do, scoop out a cavity of ice cream from the center of each one. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this ice cream. Working quickly. One for my camera person there. <laughs> Ka Thank you, Darren. <laughs> Pipe raspberry jam into the center. As much jam as possible in the center of your ice cream sandwich, the better, in my opinion. So we're going to put two of these halves together, and that one, simple, you're just going to Pop them together. Look at that, that's gonna be amazing. So coconut daquas, vanilla bean ice cream, jam, jam, vanilla bean ice cream, coconut daquas, that is gonna be an amazing ice cream sandwich. And I'm gonna finish the rest of these. Last one, yum. Right, that's it. I'll get them in the freezer now. If they're looking a little bit scrappy, don't worry about it because we're gonna roll these in chocolate and coconut. They're gonna look absolutely sensational. Right, here it is, the most exciting part of all. Dip our ice cream sandwiches in this delicious dark chocolate. Look at that, I've just melted it over a bain-marie. Not too hot. My ice cream sandwiches have been in the freezer for a minimum of four hours, so they're nice and hard. You could leave them in there overnight. Okay, I've got a small little paring knife here. You could use a fork whatever works. I'm just gonna stick it into the lamington ice cream sandwich. And look at that, just cover it in chocolate. Unbelievable, absolutely amazing. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shake off some of the excess. Okay, now we're gonna put it onto our tray. We're just gonna cover with the rest of the coconut. Really simple to do get messy. Kids will love doing this as well. And there we go. One done. 15 ice cream sandwiches to go. There we have it done. 16. I had to work quickly. They were starting to melt towards the end there. So you can do them in batches, but so pleased with these. These are going to be absolutely sensational. We've got 16 Lamington ice cream sandwiches. We've got amazing homemade vanilla ice cream. We've got the jam in the middle covered in chocolate and we've got that lovely coconut on the outside. So they look like a normal Lamington, but the surprise of course is these are ice cream sandwiches. Only one thing left to do, put it on a plate. Let's cut one open, have a look inside. You hear the crack on the chocolate there? Ice cream's nice and soft. And look at that jam inside oh my god <laughs> absolutely amazing let's get into it cheers everyone give this a go oh wow <laughs> 